You're watching Math Feats episode 16. I'm gonna make a video for each anime this season. Okay, so I just finished watching Senki Zesho Symphogear XV or 15 and I have to say this is a great show. This show has actually blown my mind. I love it. You saw the title. This show literally is Kino. Okay, so let's let's start with uh, some some background knowledge. Okay, so you know I've never fucking watched a Simple Gear or Simple Gear show before or ever even heard of the franchise, but I'm about to tell you about the director, okay? So the director of Simple Gear 15 is Katsumi Ono, a man who has also directed Girly Air Force, which is a show that I also did not know about that aired last season. I He also directed Hataraki Man or Working Man, also Master Mosquit Master Mosquiton or Master Mosquiton 99. Fuck man, that show looks fucking retro as fuck. I kinda wanna watch that. Oh no, also did the last prev the last three previous seasons of Sinfo Gear. And he also did the legendary Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 Ds. <laughs> We out here. We fucking out here. I need fucking water. Okay, so Simpho Gear 15, man. Holy shit, that was literally a whole entire feature film of shit that I just saw. And I don't really know what the fuck I just saw, but fuck, man, did I just fucking love it. And I and I think I want more of it, unless they copyright this video. Seriously, man, I had no idea. I did not, I've literally never even heard of Simple Gear before. And this show was on its fifth season. Okay, let's just, let's just get into the fucking, what actually happens in the episode. All right, so basically the episode starts off with a dude who is like basically dying and he's like, crawling throughout an entire like seems like a spaceship or something maybe just like some building and he's just he's just like like you know probably crawling through the whole entire area the whole entire spot is like empty and he's like activating some machine but you see like from the front that he's been fucking stabbed and he's deaf gonna die and he says his last words he says fine i don't know who fine is but man this guy has some he has a fucking cool design, dude. This guy looks like a fucking badass. Anyway, after we get away from that dude, you know, we get off scene and that guy like collapses. We basically go to the girls already inside of a mission and they're like in planes right now and they're about to jump off like, holy fuck, why is the South why is the North Pole so fucking cold? What the fuck? It's summertime. And they're like, son, it's the North Pole. F get the fuck out of here. Don't, don't ever speak shit to me like that again. And whatever, they jump off and they're going in. And it's a fucking huge fucking, I don't know, some fucking monster with like iron armor. And it they, they called it the coffin, which is pretty cool. Cause fuck man, is it a coffin? It fucked these girls up. It fucking shoots lasers? Can you believe this shit? This show is fucking crazy. I can't believe how fucking impressed I am with this show. This show looks so great. It is, it is produced so well. How is this the same Yu-Gi-Oh 5 Ds guy? Did they swap him out? Did those last few seasons of Simple Gear even exist? Is this a prank? The girls look so hot and they all have fucking great designs. And oh my fucking God, that transformation sequence that transformation is actually brain blowing. It's fucking mind blowing. So, so as I understand, Simple Gear to be is, uh, I guess, girls or what Simple Gear is in this series is maybe the armor that they're wearing that gets more power the more they're singing, or like as long as they're singing, they get like power or some shit. So you know, for for the first episode of the fifth season, I still think I pretty much understand what that is at least. I I think I get the point is that like you know they sing and they fight while they sing. 
and that's fucking cool. That's like Review Starlight kind of, but this, I mean, this is pro this is way <laughs> before Review Starlight. Dude, this chick's fucking transformation scene still blows my fucking mind. She's like over here doing fucking punches and shit in like some training room. Like she's been teleported to this area. She's doing these like attacks and it's like, it seems like it's all or just like hits just to like get her armor to like to form on her or something. It's really fucking cool. But she, you fucking see See, like she has fucking these huge gauntlet hands which turn into fucking sh huge like thruster gun things and then they shrink tiny into her arms like holy fuck and it's so cool it, it feels badass as fuck this is fucking animation right here son this is what you literally call kino and then it fu then she stomps on the fucking ground camera swipes back as her as her legs and arms get armor on them and then it swings to her fucking butt and her ass is fantastic she's ass-tastic then she gets fucking there's this is fucking crazy the transformation scene blows my brain and my dick then she has headphones <laughs> this shit is crazy this is crazy son she's really fucking just doing it she's out here right now taking the whole coffin on fist like blow for blow and singing too <laughs> and she's singing i want to go back and watch all of the simple gear this is amazing go watch simple gear guys this episode is a whole feature length film in 23 minutes it has everything suspense romance action drama singing a musical it's a fucking musical so basically these girls are fighting and there's a bunch of fucking crazy insane shit going on like these two fucking girls who have fucking drills i guess their arms turn into fucking spinning drills and then they're fucking holding hands and going at it holy fuck that's crazy this is a super fucking armored titan. It's so cool. I've never seen shit this cool. And then the fucking Utapon cubes. Holy shit. All the Utapon cubes. If you don't know what a Utapon cube is, it's uh, cubes whenever like, you know, whenever the ground explodes into cubes and like when just every like cube-ish shaped rubble, it's fucking sick. Even when they fucking blo like block the beams and all this fucking insane shit is happening, it's still cool. It's still fucking crazy. I can't believe this show is fucking polished. For an opening episode, I'm blown out of the fucking water. They end up getting fucked up halfway through their fight. And then we basically go back in time to before they were on a mission or maybe knew about the mission. Maybe they're on a break, I guess. I guess while the show's been on season, maybe this girl's been on break, you know maybe they've had to not worry about danger and shit and they basically are just hanging out she's trying she's doing a test for like a singing test she's doing a singing test and <laughs> she passes it and so she's doing like this cute dance and then uh and then you see anime trump once again and then they go on like a ferris wheel and uh they're eating that fish snack that's really cool that has chocolate in it when all of a sudden a fucking cruise ship explodes i don't know why the cruise ship explodes i don't know what that has to do with anything it just blew up and it's like a huge fucking fire that is way bigger than a fucking cruise ship could ever be capable of making like that was a whole damn explosion son and then i guess they get abducted by some dudes they probably know and Oh, I guess it was an accident. Anyway, this is when you start learning about the fucking thing and some fucking girl who's been fucking wrecked. Holy shit. The anti-Kythera gear. What a waifu. Hope anti-Kythera gear gets fixed. Are these girls just robots then? Maybe they're just robots. Yeah, maybe they were maybe they were built for this. Maybe that's why they can all be so ass-tastic. But basically everyone's character designs are great. Even Mr. Red Hair Ragnar dude from Fate. Even he's fucking chilling. And that's when you cut back to our bodacious babes and they're all still fucked up in ice and like dying. And there are two more really cool uh dressed or like outfit girls. I can't really see their outfits, but their hair looks great. Blue and red and then pink and white. Pretty cool. Can't wait to see them. Shit happens. Girl finally breaks out. And then everybody else is also broken out. And they're like, ha, you trying to be a hero that bad? Try hard, idiot. 
fool. God, this fucking show is so cool. I just love seeing them fight and all the Utapon cubes and their singing is so good. This is way better than Starlight. Can I download these songs? And then the main girl of this episode gets fucking like slam dunked into a uh, into the ice underwater where where you learn that because this is the first time you're ever watching an episode of Sim Simple Gear that you learn that when they don't sing they their power goes down because she can't sing when she's underwater and this is your baby's first time learning this and then she fucking says that she can still do it because of the fucking the song in her heart fuck yeah and she fucking gets fucking turbines on her arms and fucking blasts out of there and then she hosts and then she chills on the fucking at the on the other side of the ocean or at, maybe at the bottom of the ocean or maybe she's on like she's at the water i think she's actually on the sea floor right now and she fucking shoots the fucking guy up shoots the fucking huge thing up with her huge arm fucking turbine blasters holy fuck me son that was badass and then they all use their ults on on it in the sky the sniper girls knows the perfect second where all the things made a tiny opening and they all use their fucking ults that was fucking insane the fucking clouds wiped away clear fucking sky it got fucking obliterated and then there's an after credit scene where they are like where it basically opens up and they there's this thing in it and they say it's a holy a holy corpse called a custodian and it's fucking sick because it has like it's like fucking blinged out with like a golden diamond arm guard and like hair accessories and then the episode ends Fuck, man. Can I get more Simfo gear? Can I go and just watch all of the Simfo gear? Math feats forever. Thanks for watching, guys. That's all I've got to say about Simfo gear 15. Like, comment, subscribe, all that bullshit. And I'll see you next time.